So my first day out golfing in Australia was in Albert Park in Melbourne. It's a nice course, but it's pretty challenging for bad drivers like myself. And I ended up in plenty of hazards along the way. It's pretty cheap to play at $43 for the morning session and $32 for the evening session, but it can get a bit crowded. For example, there was three of us on this hole and there's groups of sixes and sevens spinning around in carts but i will play it again because it's convenient for me to get to on these little e-scooters it's close by to where i'm staying this month and i still don't have a car so tee off for me was at 8 30 a.m there was a group of two and a group of four ahead of me and i went round in about three and a half hours and as usual i'm playing the nike vapor driver and the pro iron combo I would say the first hole isn't exactly in the best condition but the course definitely improves as you move along and the back nine in particular is very nice. I started this round by blasting my driver straight into the trees so I had a tough recovery shot to make from what is essentially gravel in this part of the trees and from the gravel I chipped it straight into the sand which left me with a quite a difficult chip onto the green. So I eventually made it onto the green in four. I was hoping to save par, but alas, I missed out and scraped a five to start. So hole two is a 120 meter par three. I hit my nine iron. It drew to the left and bounced off the back of the green, leaving me with this incline chip. This putt gave me a chance to save par, but it came up just short, so my second bogey of the day. Hole three is a short par four, 314 meters, and I pulled my drive left into the rough. I decided I was gonna play it safe and tap a five iron back onto the fairway because there were trees blocking my path. My chip lands pretty close and gives me another par shot, which I misjudge badly and end up with yet another bogey. Hole 4 is a par 4, 368 meter dog leg right. Like the last hole, I pull it left and end up in the rough with the trees in my way. So I set myself up for another chip, which actually goes pretty close. And leaves me with another bogey. So at this point I am raging because my drives are not giving me a chance at all. So I'm determined not to pull this one left into the rough. But instead I push it right into the trees and I have to lay up again. But my approach shot bounces off the back and my chip shot goes from the fringes and skids back to the other side of the green. And I have a two putt for a double bogey which is typical because I was raged that I was missing these pars and on the next hole I ended up with a double bogey. Hole 6 is a par 5, 455 meters, and I wanted to start clawing back a few points. So it starts well with a decent drive for once, but then I hook my 3 wood into the trees. And I knew I could have played it safe here, but I decided I was going to go for it and I caught it wrong, which was the wrong option and it left me behind this tree with no shot really. But I managed to scoop it out from behind the tree, chip it onto the green and eventually put it in, settling for a 6 at 6. Seven is a par 5 as well, but it's short and index 17, so I really wanted to be scoring here. But unfortunately, I drove it into the rough and I had to lay up with the 6 iron but I catch it too clean and it runs past the fairway into the sand. So I chip it over the back of the green and then I have to chip it back where it came from. Again, I had a shot at a par, but my putt just tailed and left me with a six for another bogey. Eight was a par three, 141 meters. I decided I was going to hit an eight iron and it landed to the right of the green. That left me with a two putt for a par. Thankfully I went in and after eight holes, now I am actually scoring. 
Nine was another par five, index 16 at 442 meters. At this point, all I want is a good drive and thankfully I get one. I'm about 180 meters from the green and I flush my four iron, which catches this tree and I am rage because I was convinced that that shot was going straight at the flag. The chip gets close, but there's a lot of pressure on this one. Thankfully, I managed to sink this putt for a birdie, my first of the day. You. Hole 10 is a par 3, 171 meters, and somehow I duff my 6 iron and it comes up short. I hit a decent chip, which leaves me with a long putt for par. It's a sweeping right to left one, and I was right on the line for this one, but I left it short, and I end up starting the back line with a bogey. Eleven is a long par five, surrounded by trees either side. My drive goes down the middle, and I'm about two hundred ish from the green, so. I hook my three wood straight into the trees and I end up having to lay up again. My chip goes close this time and thankfully it's just a matter of tapping it in for a par. Hole 12 is a par 3 and I'm always hopeful for a score in a par 3. I hit a 6 iron but it lands short and leaves me with another chip. which I hit so well that it nearly holes out, but it's not too bad because I can tap this one in for a pair. Hole 13 is a par four with a sharp left turn, and I decide I'm gonna make it a sensible decision on this one and hit a five iron instead of driving it into the trees. And it works, so I hit the 5 again, but this time it comes up a little short, leaving me with about a 15 meter chip, which I catch lovely and nearly hole out again. And I leave this hole with another par, and I feel like I'm onto it now, and I'm finally scoring. Hole 14 is a mirror image of the last hole, and because hitting a 5 iron worked so well, I decide I'm going to whip out the driver and draw it around this corner, which actually works surprisingly well. It leaves me with a chip shot that goes within 15 meters and I managed to two put my way to another par. Hole 15 is index 2, a 191 meter par 3. My tail is up now and my confidence is high so obviously I decide I'm going to try and draw a 4 iron through a 10 meter gap between the sand bunkers which inevitably lands me in the sand and eventually over the back of the green, which results in a bogey after my four pairs ah, in a row. Sixteen is a short par four, 273 meters, and I hit a drive close to the green, but a bit to the left. I'm chipping out of the roots of a tree and I don't catch it that well so it leaves me with a pretty long putt. Now I managed to get that putt pretty close and I end up two putting it for a par. Seventeen is a tricky dog leg left and I wasn't exactly sure where I was aiming for so I picked the tree straight ahead as my target and I let rip. Thankfully it ran a good bit and it left me with a decent approach just under 80 meters to the front of the green. My chip goes within 10 meters which I'm really pleased about but then I leave my first putt short and sickeningly I miss my second putt and end up with a bogey. Finally the 18th is a long par 5, 384 meters. Again it's a bit of a hit and hope on this one but thankfully it hits the fairway and starts to run on. I'm about 230-ish meters from the green and I hit a four iron with a nice draw. That sets up a decent chip, which gives me a chance to score. I push my putt a bit right. It would have been nice to finish on a birdie, but I tap this one in for a par and that's me done for the day around 12 p.m. 
So par for this course is 72 and I shot 10 over with 82. I had a double bogey, 9 bogeys, 7 pars and 1 birdie. I'm definitely going to play this course again because A, I think I can score better and 2, I don't have a car yet and this course is close to where I'm staying so I can scoot up to it. So I'll be back here next week. See you then.